to drive the armored car. We've got to have someone we can trust, absolutely. I recommend Freddy. No, Bill's better. I think Harry's the best. No, Bill. No, Fred. Harry! Bill! No, no Harry! 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 Bill's the one! Oh, Bill! Oh, Bill. Oh, it's Harry! Bill, it's Bill! Stop! Underdog! <laughs> Underdog! So it was decided that Underdog would drive the armored car. And when the great day came, there was an impressive ceremony in honor of the historic occasion. And there, friends, the last gold brick has been placed in the truck. This truck now contains a billion dollars in gold bricks. Lock the doors. Put on the chains. Now. Where is our driver? There's no need to fear. Underdog is here. We trust you, Underdog. This is the largest shipment of gold ever made. You must get it to the National Bank safely. When handling gold, I am not slow. It's hip, 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 and away I go. Oops. Good luck! But little did anyone know that at that very moment, the notorious criminal Riff Raff was planning to steal the gold. Mooch, we're going to knock over the biggest. A billion bucks in gold bricks. Uh, yeah, but Underdog is driving that armored car. We can't muscle in on him. Not with muscle, pal. We're going to use brains. And by the time we're through, they're going to be called an underdog, Dopey Dog. <laughs> Here's my plan. We're going to switch trucks, see? And when underdog... That toll booth up ahead is new, but I'd better stop or they'll get in a stew. How much? Uh, Twenty-five. Uh, say, aren't you on the door? You're just in time. There's a phone call for you in the back room. Why, thank you, sir. I won't be long. Please watch my car while I am gone. Sure thing, pal. I'll watch it all right. <laughs> It must be some mistake, you see. There was no call in there for me. So long, sucker. Rick's trick had worked perfectly. Now Underdog was driving an empty truck and fast approaching the end of his trip. And here we are, friends, with a huge crowd waiting for our hero, Underdog. And here he comes now, bringing a billion dollars in gold bricks safely to the bank. Only Underdog could have done it. Congratulations, Underdog. You've done it. Open the lock. Undo the chain. Open the doors and let us all see the gold. Oh, oh no. No gold. No gold. The gold is lost. Oh. Sure, now I hate to do this underdog, but I have no choice. You're under arrest. Now what will underdog do? How will he prove that he is innocent? There's plenty of excitement ahead in our next episode. Go!
go, go, first march and go, go, go. Two little Indians, no others near. Colonel, he vows these two soon disappear. Fighting the army blue soldiers galore. What can two Indians do? Go, 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 first march and go, go, go. Go, 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 first march and go, go, go. With his sergeant, both are roaring and a charging. Go, 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 first watch him. Go, go, go. Go, 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 first watch him. Go, go, go. I should have thought of this long ago, Sergeant. If we can't make those Gopher Indians leave, we can at least put them where they can't do any harm. But I don't understand, Colonel. Listen and learn from your superior officer. Yes, sir. I have here special orders for Ruffled Feather and Running Board. By the power of these orders, you two have been drafted into the army. Congratulations. What did he say? Him say you full of prunes. An outrage. Get them, Sergeant. <laughs> Stop those two, Colonel. They're wrecking the place. Halt! Can't you hear? When I say halt, I mean halt. You're in the army now, and the army requires blind obedience. All right, you two new recruits. Our first job is to put you in top physical condition. So we'll teach you to run the obstacle course. Sergeant? All you do is run up here like this, grab hold of the rope, and swing over like this. Bully! Go to it, recruits. No, no, no! Let go of the rope! Bubbly, you funny, but if you a wash it, what did he say? Him say being soldier, cleaner job than being Indian. <laughs> <laughs> this is our next obstacle, the climbing wall. Sergeant? Well, all you do is run up to the wall and jump up like this, grab the top of the wall, and throw yourself over. Bully, go to it, recruits. Jump! Jump! Come down this instant! Now look out, don't you? What did he say? Him say army life full of ups and downs. Attention! <laughs> <laughs> Recruits! This is our final obstacle, the crawl through pipe. Sergeant? Now all you gotta do is run up to the pipe, drop down on all fours like this, and crawl through the pipe like this, and come out the other side. Go to it, recruits. What did he say? Him say it dark inside pipe, not like dark. Nonsense. There's nothing to be afraid of. A good soldier fears nothing. Watch me. Looks like trying to make soldiers out of those gopher Indians has got the colonel all tied up. Y'all be sure and see our next adventure. Oh, but...
I tell you I was the engineer on old 92? Don't you have an appointment, Commander? I was making the run to Abilene. And as always, I was determined to bring her in on time. Suddenly, out of the hills came the notorious James boys. Outlaws, don't you know? I gave the old 92 all she had, but the outlaws were upon her. Stop this train! Determined to keep on time, I grabbed the smokestack and gave the gang a steam blast. Breathtaking. But that wasn't the end of the gang. I replaced the smokestack and thundered along until... The James boys blew up the river bridge and the train was moving too fast to stop. What could you possibly do? I drove old 92 right down the bank and through the river. Not only did I arrive in Abilene on time, but we brought in the largest load of fish ever seen there and all cooked too. Cooked? Precisely. The steam from our engine boiled the water and cooked the fish to a turn. I say, Commander, that is a fishy story. Right. Last episode, Underdog was arrested for stealing a truckload of gold bricks worth a billion dollars. You can't arrest him. That's Underdog. He is a true hero. Hero Schmiro. All I know is that the truck was locked and chained. The only person who could have gotten the gold out was the driver. And Underdog was the driver. Take him away. And soon the news was all over town. X-ray, X-ray, read all about it! Underdog in jail for stealing gold! X-ray, X-ray! Meanwhile, at the television station, O.J. Squeeze was talking to his top reporter. Holly, this is the biggest news in years. Get out there on camera and tell the world. I can't. I won't say that about Underdog. He couldn't have done it. He just couldn't. This is news. It's your job to tell people. I won't. You will. Won't. Will. Won't. Will. Please, Mr. Squeeze, just give me 24 hours. I must help Underdog clear his good name. I must find the real crooks. Meanwhile, where were the real crooks? Hey, a billion dollars in gold. What a haul. Uh, yeah, but how are we going to get rid of all those gold bricks? Uh, we are going to paint them red and take them over the border like they were real bricks. Uh, yeah, but uh, where are we going to paint them? We got to have a place where nobody will bother us. I got it already. It's a haunted house. Haunted? Oh, no, no, not me. I'm not going to any haunted house. Oh, yes, you are. Now shut up. Meanwhile, unknown to the two crooks, Sweet Polly had hired a helicopter and was now in the air looking for the missing armored car. Uh, hey, Riff, I think we're being followed by a helicopter. Take a look through the glasses. It's that television reporter. Sweet Polly? Yeah. Well, see if you can give her a slip. <laughs> had enough of this. Give me that chopper. Uh, that'll take care of her. Let's get out of here. And Sweet Polly was in trouble. She bailed out of the damaged helicopter and drifted toward Earth, landing gently. She got down from the tree and headed for the nearest town. 
Excuse me, sir, but have you seen an armored car go by here? Yep. Oh, thank goodness. Which way? That way. Did it stop around here? Yep. Stopped at the house at the end of the road. Fine. I'll go there. I wouldn't if I was you. Haunts. Haunts? Haunts. Spooks. Ghosts. It's a haunted house. Don't be silly. There's no such thing as ghosts. I'm going up there. Suit yourself, but don't say I didn't warn you. Oh, it is a little scary. I wish Underdog were here. Where was Underdog? Unfortunately, he was in court. Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, have you reached a verdict? We have, Your Honor. We find the defendant, Underdog, guilty. You have disgraced all the heroes in the world. I hereby sentence you to 30 years. I obey the laws in all the books, but if I'm in jail, I can't catch crooks. Now what will Underdog do? How can he prove his innocence? There are important developments in our next exciting episode. <laughs> <laughs>